PMDG737 APU. In this tutorial we will have a brief overview of the auxiliary power unit or APU for short. APU is a gas turbine self-sustaining unit which produces both AC power and bleed air for all airplane system needs. APU is located in the tail cone section. On the right side of the tail cone we find the APU air inlet door which opens at the APU start and closes at shutdown. The exhaust opening is located at the aft end of the cone. We use the APU on the ground for engine start or for no engine bleed air takeoff when the engine is unable to produce its full rated thrust. In some other conditions we can also use the APU in flight. APU can start and operate up to 41,000 feet. Electrical power can be used up to 41,000 feet. Bleed air can be used up to 17,000 feet. Both electrical and bleed power can be used up to 10,000 feet. The APU controls and indications are located on the overhead panel. We use the start-stop switch to start and stop the APU. EGT gauge is used to monitor the exhaust gas temperature and there is no limit on the EGT. Status and caution indicator lights illuminate in the event of system malfunction. Maintenance light illuminates to notify the crew for a maintenance problem. However, you can operate the APU normally. Low oil pressure illuminates on early in start sequence, then extinguishes. In other times, this causes automatic shutdown. Fault illuminates for several possible problems, and this causes automatic shutdown. Over speed illuminates to indicate an overspeed or loss of overspeed protection and also causes an automatic shutdown. APU generator of bus light illuminates to indicate that the APU is on speed and ready to accept the load. Two electrical switches are used to connect the APU AC power to the left and right main transfer buses. The APU bleed air control valve is located in the bleed air panel. This enables the bleed air flow the pneumatic system. APU has also a fire protection system. If a fire is detected, the APU fire switch can be used for an immediate shutdown. Let's see how to start and operate the APU. First, we turn the battery switch on. We should complete the pre-flight test to ensure that the fire detection and extinguisher systems are in good conditions. Switch the fault in up test position. Normal indications are master caution light, the overheat detect annunciation, the fault light, and the APU detector in up lights. Now we do the overheat fire test. The normal indications are fire bell, fire warning lights, master caution lights, overheat detector annunciation, fire warning switch and engine 1 and engine 2 overheat lights. And finally we test the fire extinguisher system with the extinguisher test switch. Select one to test the number one discharge circuit for all the three extinguisher bottles. All the three green lights should illuminate for the satisfactory test. 
we select then the number two all lights are illuminated this complete the pre-flight test after we have completed the pre-flight fire test now we can safely operate the APU APU start engage position the switch momentarily to start then release it the switch is spring loaded to on position low oil pressure illuminates for short time then extinguishes EGT increases to indicate that both the fuel shutoff valve and air inlet door has been successfully opened. DC meter shows a battery discharge and battery discharge light illuminates to indicate a large battery discharge caused by the complete APU start cycle and this is normal. And finally the APU generator of bus illuminates to indicate the APU start cycle is completed and ready for load. Both APU generator switches on. Both left and right transfer bus indicators extinguished. Both the source of lights extinguished. The APU has a fuel suction capability using the left main tank. However, to ensure a good fuel feeding, we operate the left fuel pump if the APU is used for a short time such as engine start. But if the APU will operate for an extended period to prevent a severe fuel imbalance, we operate the left center tank fuel pump instead of left main fuel pump and finally we set the bleed air panel recirculation fans on right back off isolation valve auto left back auto apu bleed valve set to on Let's see now how to stop the APU. To stop the APU, we position the start stop switch to off. Transfer of buses and source of lights illuminate and gen of bus extinguishes. This confirms that the APU generator is disconnected. APU continues running for 60 seconds cooling cycle. Sixty second cycle completed. EGT drove to zero and this complete the APU shutdown. For a complete airplane system shutdown, after the APU has completed the sixty seconds cooling cycle, we wait for additional twenty seconds to let the air inlet door to close. Then we turn the battery off. Now we have completed the APU setup. See you in the next tutorial. Please subscribe and share to support the channel.